Hello and welcome to Board Game Ninja. In this video we will talk about a game that is not even out yet. The kind people at Never Be Board Games have sent us a copy, no strings attached, of Turning Tides, a pirate battle game that was launched on Kickstarter in October 2021. It is a clever two-player game with some interesting mechanics. As Dutch people, we are not unfamiliar with the occasional bout of profiteering and battling on the waves, so let's get to it. The object of the game is obvious. Send your opponent's ship to the bottom of the sea. You do this by either destroying three zones on the ship or by removing the entire crew of captain and sailors from the ship. You can destroy a zone by shooting at an empty one with a cannon. Removing crew members, sailor or captain, is done by kicking them overboard or, of course, by blasting them with a cannon. That works too. Each player gets a ship, a mast, a captain and three sailors. Place the ships horizontally in front of you so that the first zones near the bow, the pointy bit of the ships, meet. The ships will be sailing past each other, so this position will change throughout the game. Place the masts on the fourth zone, along with one sailor. Zone 5 also gets a sailor, as well as a cannon, that points away from the enemy ship. Determine who will be the silver player and who will take the gold. The captain of the silver player stands in zone 6, the golden captain in zone 3. Each player has 12 cards in their deck. The pictures on the cards can be a little unclear, so check them. You start with only the weight card in your hand. One sailor, one swing and two fire cards are put together in your hold. This is your exchange pile. The remaining cards are shuffled and placed face down on the table in your draw pile. Leave some room for your discard pile. Determine the star player and give them the initiative pawn. That's it, you're good to go. Every turn you play a card to do an action, so let's check them out first. Wait means doing nothing. This card is always available in your hand. You do not discover, discard it ever. If you both play, play wait during your turn, the ships sail two places alongside each other instead of one. Sailor means you get to place one of your sailors on the deck of the ship. Since they regularly get shot or swung off, this is very useful. Cannon means you place a cannon on the ship. There are two possible slots for a cannon on each zone, on either side of the deck. Move means moving a sailor, captain or cannon. You can move to wherever you like, it does not have to be to an adjacent zone. This card can also be used to move a cannon to the other side of the ship. Navigate means you have a choice. You can sail one space faster past the other ship, you can sail one space back, or you can claim the initiative token. We will explain the advantage of the initiative in a bit. Swing means your sailor grabs a rope and swings across the, to kick his enemy on the other ship into the sea. This unlucky fellow is removed from the ship and put in your hold. Fire means you fire your cannon at the enemy's ship. But be sure your cannon is manned with a sailor because cannons do not fire themselves. Now let's take a closer look at what's on the ship. You need sailors to do most of the work. They can use the move, swing and fire cards. The captain can move, but they cannot do anything else. Still, you must have a captain. If your captain is taken out, you must spend a turn replacing one of your sailors with the captain. The mast obviously never moves, but it can be shot down. Until it is destroyed, it offers protection to all crew members, including the captain, in the same zone. So when that zone is shot, the mast is first to go, while the crew remains standing. And finally, the cannons. They need a sailor to be operated and they need to be facing the right way, to your enemy ship. Then use the fire card and destroy what is in the opposing zone on the other pirate ship. Either the mast, all of the crew and cannons, or lastly, the deck itself. You can also use move to move the cannons to wherever you like. The game is played in rounds, during which the ship sail past each other. How long this takes depends on the cards you play. You keep playing turns until the ships have completely passed each other and the round ends. Turns are played simultaneously and consist of five actions. 1. You draw a card from your draw pile and add it to your hand. 2. You choose a card from your hand and place it face down in front of you. Three. 
you flip the cards face up and check which action goes first by using the hierarchy card that is provided for each player. Again, the pictures are a little hard to make out, but place a sailor or cannon goes first, move or navigate goes second, swing goes third, and fire is fourth. In case of a tie, the player with the initiative pawn goes first. The initiative pawn changes hands frequently. You get it when one of your sailors is swung off board or when one of your decks is destroyed. Four, you discard the cards you used by placing them face up in your discard pile. The weight cards always goes back to your hand and never goes to the discard pile. And finally, five, you sail the ships one zone past each other. When the ships have completely passed each other, that is when there are no zones opposing each other, the round ends. The ships turn around to have another go, and this little bit of downtime provides you with an opportunity to gather your wits and assess damage. During the lee at the end of the turn, you may swap any cards that you have left in your hand with cards from the exchange pile in your hold. Your new active cards are put in your discard pile to be shoveled and turned into your new draw pile for the next round. You start once again with only your weight card in your hand. However, you must also assess the damage to your ship. For every destroyed zone, you place one card from your draw pile face down in your hold. Your enemy does not know which cards these are, but they can look through the other cards in your hold or your discard pile. And then finally, the third zone of one of the ships is blast to smithereens and the whole vessel disappears into the warm and shark infested waters of the Caribbean Sea. Now, chin up, it does not have to be this way. The rules clearly state that you can always openly de admit defeat and surrender, no harm done. And should your surrender be accepted, you may immediately request a rematch. A request that your victor should immediately grant, because such is the pirate code in Turning Tides. Pirates are a popular theme in board games, but this game is a bit different than the others. The ships sailing so closely past each other immediately makes it clear that this battle is up close and personal. There is no maneuvering or strategizing in the open seas, you can practically smell the rum on your enemy's breath in a manner of speaking. This means that your engagement is immediately high. You want to send your enemy to the bottom of the sea. The overall design is well done, although the depictions on the cards do not immediately stand out. It takes some getting used to them to make them out quickly. The ships are well designed and the waves to mark the progress of the ships relative to each other are outstanding in their simplicity. As we said, this game was kindly sent to us by the publishers, but we made no promises about our review. Luckily, we were not presented with any kind of moral dilemma, because Turning Tides is a very entertaining game that gave both of us an opportunity to play in our favorite style. Him more strategic and analytic, and me with a bit more snap decision making and taking risks. Both styles work well and add fun to this game. As far as we are concerned, we highly recommend that you give this one a try. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon.